good YouTube this your boy RJ back with another video for you guys now I, I know you guys be watching me a lot on Twitch um you know appreciate it and I really do appreciate all the support behind that um but before we get into this video I just want to make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button if you already enjoying or just support already man just hit that thumbs up button if you're new subscribe and join the latest screen the vibes as always how we rock and how we do now this video is pertaining to my playbook now not not I get a lot of these uh comments in my in my in my twitch streams and people say yo what playbook do you run because normally the playbook that i run it's no different but the thing about my playbook i have a certain set of plays that i run in my playbook now before like i said we're gonna go ahead and show you what i run of course you guys know you guys don't know my playbook that i run is buck's playbook now i know a lot of people run buck's playbook for one specific play and we all know what that is five out right um but there are other plays that i like running that are money plus plays um I, i'm pretty sure some people went over a video on their plays itself but these are my set of plays that i run that gets me through my 12 and 0 accounts on a consistent basis um and they are very effective um and i'm going to show you also a play that is not necessarily in the playbook but there's a play how i kind of combine two plays in one and i make it a play myself so pretty much i kind of mix up a play um if you guys know how to do that like i say you're tuning into the right video this time to check out the plays that i run on my playbook and let's go ahead and go find a match i'll see you guys when we get into a game i'm actually on an account right now grinding an account so um and the reason why i wanted to do this is because i want to actually show you me running a playbook actually playing against someone um in unlimited besides showing you a playbook being ran using it against an ai because it works very different and you can see how people control and i'm gonna explain why i run that specific play and the playbook itself that i run my plays in so see y'all on the unlimited side of the court let's get it all right we are in the game right now and i'm going to show you guys what i do so of course you know i do my defensive settings as usual you guys know that defensive settings or if you guys don't know my defensive settings i'm gonna make sure i leave it a, a clip Oh, I say a clip. I'll leave a link in the description below. You you can click on that link there and go to the, uh, those defensive settings. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my stuff pretty fast. Now the plays, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna slow down. So pretty much, I go to play selection. Um, and I'll go. You know, this is my set of plays. So my first play that I like to use is called Fist Point Four. Um, as you can see, how Piss uh, Fist Point Four. I say Piss Fist Point Four how it's ran even though you think that just because you run that play that means that you know you're gonna get that much action out of it but and that's not necessarily all that it comes with it you know you have a lot of plays within this play that you can run so that's the one play that i do also have most common play that i like running a lot is the fist 91 side down and this is a beautiful play to get you a nice bucket in the paint or a kick out for a three um it's, it, you get a lot of options behind this play and this is a money play that i love using and then my favorite and final most play that I also love going to and you can't go wrong with is I go with a quick five out play. Um, you know, some people have their own ways of running five out. This is my five out play that I like run running a lot and I get that money play off with, which is quick five out. So I'm going to show you each and every single one and how it works. And um, and, you know, let's go ahead and get into it. Like I said before, bro, a lot of people go in just running free, uh, freelances and not, you know, they don't have a set amount of plays that they run in general. So at the end of the day, it's like, you know, get you some plays, bro. If you get you some plays, I'm, I'll guarantee you, you'll come out to be a better player just running the same play of a five out every single time. So first play I'm going to run, I'm going to run a common play, which is quick five out. Now, as you can see, quick five out, how it's spaced already. The, the power forward is always at the top of the key. That's why I always love picking a power forward that can actually shoot the ball. Because, you know, if I got to kick out for three, it's a money shot every single time. As I did miss that layup with Magic Johnson, I should have got a dunk. That's like pretty much a common play to get an easy rim run off. If you got to take them off of the hedge. Or what you can do is you can wrap around right here. Go straight to the rack. Because the actual player sometimes doesn't help. If you're not going to mainly uh, move your players and you're just going to sit on one sit on one player the whole game. And try to let AI plays the defense. It's not going to allow um, the help side defense a lot. So at the end of the day, that's why I like running that play. Because... There's not so much help side defense unless you're making a help side transitional move. So I'm going to slow down every single time I get a steal, right? So, uh, you know, we're going to check out five out uh, five out one more time so you, so you can see, you know, everybody spaces out the court. You know, I can rim run past him every single time. He's not going to send no helper. You know, he's just going to drop back because guess what? If he was to 
drop back with that player that's on Giannis. I'm kicking that to Giannis and we gonna shoot a three with Giannis. Best believe that. But I do have Lamar Odom on the bench that has range extender. So that's the reason why I say pick a power forward because that at the top of the key right there, the power forward's always ready to go for, to take that shot. Next play we're gonna run is Fist 91 side down. Now this is the double screen at the free throw line. What you can do is just go across right here, go straight to the rack or you can kick out to a midi right there, take the shot. He jumped underneath the paint. I'm just gonna reset it. Go to my spot right here position. Watch the double screen right here. Now we're gonna cross on both of these. Step up right here, right wing three. Oh, he, I had it. That was good. I, he, he stepped up that time. I had it. But uh, you see, you see, as the play goes, it's pretty much um, a screen in the middle of the free throw line, a double screen at that that you can go around to try to get that uh, that two pointer in it or that, that two to dunk the ball or you know what I'm saying to shoot it. But I'm gonna show you as well as in how I do it. Like I sometimes get the ball and I run into transition. I'll call it quick right here. And watch how everybody just starts scattering. Go around that, straight to rack, leaving Giannis open, kicking up the D-Rob, D-Rob right here for the nice shot. I got to finish those, though, but that's a better dunk right there. So, like, I like running my plays in transition as well, besides, because, like, sometimes if you set it up, does it work for you? It can definitely work for you beautifully every single time. But sometimes if you get the rebound and then call your play early, hey, it's better to run that play fast in motion. So, like, this time I'm going to call a five out. Now, watch this. Call a five out. Let's go. Let's, let's do it in fast pace this time. Fast pace action. Step up. Somebody's open the top. You know what I'm saying? Right corner. That's a green money team bang right there because he's trying to play off ball. But if you see he and him helping with a specific player, you do have that drop down to Giannis at the top of the key. If they're helping down, you know, down low, to try to help on the uh, inside of the paint. You got that right corner or that left corner going to be ready to shoot that ball to go. So I said, there's a lot of plays that I like run. I'm going to run that fist point for you guys. So now fist point is pretty much you know you set stand in the middle of the key hold the ball right here it's pretty much for a screener to come off right here double screen keep running across all the way get into that rack big dunk right there so pretty much it's a double screen from the corner as it brings the shooting guard to curl off that screen and what you want to do sometimes you can curl if it's a good screen if it's a good screen by the bigs you can get that three off a good shot if you do see the man is going to step up and help because he sees the play is coming You'll have T Mac or the shooting guard come off that screen and have him curl hard. And what I mean by curl hard is as soon as you pass him the ball, this straight shot to the rim. You should have a look to get straight to the rim because the way how he's coming off the screen, he'll probably be on like his right hip. When he's on his right hip, you'll be able to have that access to get to that lane and dunk that ball. Um, but if he cuts you off by, you know, overplaying the uh overplaying a play, what you can do is uh just be careful with the pass, or you can slip it down low to the big and drop it off for an easy dunk because sometimes you know they'll try to overstep the play i'm gonna run it again and see if he try to get to bait on the play itself if, he, if i can give him the bait the play because he think he sees it so we're gonna give it to magic let's go ahead and call fist point four once again in the top in the middle let's see what he does oh, he fouls me. of course he fouls me right but uh like i said i'm gonna show you some more what i do um you know i didn't really show you uh, 91 side down all the way like i wanted to so i run fist point let's see what he does let's see what he does you got t-mac in the right corner right here Trying to overplay it. Yep, curl around on the hip. Got it right here to drop back, watch the screen, going around that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you see how you see how Giannis was open at the right wing and then D-Rob set, D set a back screen for Giannis. Now all you gotta do is go around that back screen and get a dunk right there because he didn't, you know, he didn't switch defense. So let's go ahead and run uh, 90, uh, fist 91 side down this time one more time. As we're gonna go around, you know, we, we gotta, we gotta we're, in our, we're in our position, which is going to the right wing right here. Double screen ain't coming. We're gonna go around that. You know what I'm saying? If you're not gonna help, not gonna help. Somebody's open, kick out. That's a three right there. Bang. You know, if he's not going to help, we're gonna go ahead and kick that out. If you do, if you don't see him help, easy dunk every single time. If you see him help, drop it down to Giannis or drop it down to D route for a mid-range or a three. So there's also other plays. If I run it in fast transition, like right now, I'm gonna run it in fast transition, right? I'm gonna go around right here, boom. T Max open for the three. Yes, sir. I'm gonna cash that. You see how he's overplaying it because he tried to help this time because he's seen a play coming. So he tried to help and step, and step up in the paint to try to cut me off. Um, I think he had Chris Mullen right there. And I was able to control that and get that three off with T-Mac. But uh, like I said, I just want to show you guys uh, a few plays that I run. And those are the most common three plays that I do run. If you guys got any questions, feel free to reach out to me in regards to how do I run those plays even more. Or do I got other plays in a, in a, in a bag, which I do. Um, I just want to show you guys the most common plays that I run. Um, in a game of 2k and i really appreciate all you guys that be tuning in to the streams and to the videos as well if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe if you join the laser crew you know the vibes as always i'm about to sound out you know i'm about to go to work on him and finish him off make him quit real quick so you dig hey let me know if these plays work for you in the comment section below let's get it